has been a while, hasn't it? A very long while, but as you know, the Supernatural season finale and finale of the show is coming up next week and I've been having this sort of like panicky times and merch buying fever kind of a thing. I just bought more merch of Supernatural this last couple of months than I have ever bought in my entire life and I think it's because I am afraid that when the show ends they're not going to keep making merch so the merch is going to be a lot more expensive and I've got things to prove it because the Supernatural Monopoly is already more expensive than it was originally and a bunch of other stuff that they don't make anymore they are now exclusive and you can't get so among all of those merchandise things that I have been purchasing I got this book and this pretty thing is basically a supernatural cookbook which has a lot of recipes inspired by the show it was written by Julie Tremaine and she has some really good insights of all of the stuff Sam and Dean eat throughout all the 14 seasons of Supernatural it has a lot of information a pretty cool book when I got this book I got the idea of making a video in which I would only eat supernatural food for three days so at the beginning I thought it was going to be really fun and I didn't know if it was gonna be challenging I mean Sam and Dean do eat a lot of junk food well I was right it was incredibly fun but without any further ado let's get into the video Just kidding, it didn't happen to me. Too soon? Yeah, Dana, I'm pretty sure. Six seconds is too soon. On the first day, I used some of the most common recipes here, and probably the most widely varied known recipes in the world. I made pancakes. Talked. Won't do any good. Birds. I can't say I'm sorry if I'm not. What he wants an apology for, I did it for humanity, for the world. I followed the heavenly pancakes recipe that the book provides. <laughs> Those pancakes were delicious. Day one, foot one, I'm having heavenly pancakes. Heavenly is a good name for these, they're great. I mean, Sam and Dean are living the best cholesterol life out there. They were really good, really tasty. You'd have the vanilla, nothing like store-bought pancakes or store-bought pancake mix that you would just add like eggs and butter. This ones are different and they were delicious. I just have to say that. Yeah, they were very, very tasty. And I mean, after all, it is God's recipe, so they gotta be good. For my meal, I had taquitos. Now I didn't follow the exact same recipe from the book because I changed the meat for chicken because I had chicken around and I didn't have meat around and I didn't feel like going out to buy any. But they are just as tasty and you know it's the same premise. You fill them up with chicken and cheese and then you roll up the tortilla and then you fry it. So I mean it kind of counts as the same thing. So good, so good, so good. The taquitos were excellent. Rise and shine, Sammy. So there is only one thing I could have eaten today. Hey, Tuesday. Pig in a poke. Pig in a poke. Pig in a poke. Pig in a poke. Obviously, I have. Pig in a poke. Well, hey, Dean, right there in the back while I'm working, but yeah, some pig in a poke. Let's see how it is. The pancakes combined with salty stuff. I have already eaten that before in my life. Because I used to really like pancakes, making sandwiches out of pancakes. So I would use like a pancake and then I would use ham and cheese. And then I would heat it up and then I would eat it like that. So I know what it tastes like. With sausage, you know, it's kind of like a, like a hot dog, but instead of bread, we've got pancake bread, which is like a, a sweet, maybe like a corn dog, kind of like a corn dog, but not as corny. But yeah. This is great. Recommend it. Totally. I didn't have bacon. Doesn't mean I don't eat bacon. I love bacon. Bacon is the best thing in the world. But I didn't have bacon around. And you know, since Corona, we're not really going out all the time. But I did get, you know, some sausages, some pork sausages wrapped around the exact same heavenly pancakes from before. 
and they were delicious. Then, for my food, I had a burger. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's a burger. It's a treasure. Burgers are basically Dean's diet. Those burgers and more booze. It's a burger. A very tasty looking burger from a random restaurant because I didn't have the time to prepare it. <laughs> Who does nowadays when I have class? Literally right there. But yeah, delicious and tasty burger. <laughs> It's a burger. It's delicious. What can I say? I'm basically eating junk food every single day of the week. Delicious. It's delicious. We love junk food. Everybody loves junk food. And that same Tuesday at night, I went to prepare some doughs. I thought of making a little vlog right now because I've got some pizza dough in the fridge for tomorrow's Chicago style pizza. And I just finished my pie dough for my pie crust for the tiny pies I'm making tomorrow. So we've got our nice pie dough and pizza dough. For breakfast on Wednesday I had egg omelettes. Yeah. You made egg white omelettes? Breakfast right champions. You know if you're dark like you. So for breakfast today, I'm having an omelette. It's not an egg white omelette, because what would I do with the yolks? So it's a, a complete cheese and tomato omelette that I'm having, and at the same time... I'm making the pies for today's dinner, because the last two days I've literally had nothing for dinner, because I eat very late. Quarantine time has me eating twice a day, and snacking, and then nothing else. But yeah, we're, we're making... Tiny pies to make different flavored pies. Ooh, and by the way, the omelette is great. I mean, it's just eggs, cheese, and tomato, but eggs and cheese. And they were very tasty. I made the Chicago pizza, which by the way, it's so good, so juicy, so tasty, so fantastic. I don't even know why hadn't I tried Chicago-style pizza before in my life. Eat. having Chicago style pizza. In the show they generally eat this with like, um... With cutlery. But uh, I mean it's pizza, so... It's incredibly juicy. Had Dean not been terrified because of the closeness to death and the imminent idea that he could have died any second because he was literally next to the death, he would have enjoyed the shit out of that pizza, because I swear, it is amazing. The pizza was great. How about some pie? Bring me some pie! Dude? Yeah. Where's the pie? You know, since Salmon Dean's diet does consist of drinking a lot of booze, and I am not really one to drink much booze, I decided that I would add that alcohol into the pies. Honey bourbon blueberry pies. Got apricot, scotch, cheese, also got some pecan over there. I'm finally going to be able to taste my apricot scotch pie. or anything but this might just be the best pie I've ever tried in my entire life so good I mean you can feel the scotch and damn those scots they've got their whiskey in the right place cause it's so good you know I always understood how Dean loves pie but this pie this pie would be the death of Dean Winchester I swear to you this is so incredibly tasty it's insane. So it's finally dinner time and I am having another pie. 
This one is Honey Whiskey Blueberry. Um, and I don't know how it turned out. It's acid because of the bit of lemon that I added. And sweet because of the sugar. I like it a lot. It's very tasty. What did I learn from this fantastic experience of eating like I'm in Supernatural for three days? Okay, first of all, I had pizza in the morning today because I had some leftover from yesterday because we had a lot of food and it was just as tasty as before. And I mean, in general, my conclusion is that I don't know what I was expecting when I decided to do it. I kind of just wanted to do it because I had the Supernatural cookbook and I wanted to try some of the recipes and I wanted an excuse, you know, to try all of these recipes. And I also wanted to make pie because I love making pie. So, you know, I kind of wanted a, an excuse, and I got my excuse, and my excuse was, you know, this beautiful thing. And I managed to finish what I wanted to finish with the beautiful thing that I got, and I'm pretty excited about that, because I didn't know I was going to be able to, you know, do the whole thing and commit to the entire three days, but it, I did, and it was fun. I would recommend you doing something like that if you wanted to one day, because it's pretty fun, you know? Make it a, make it a hashtag, make it a challenge, hashtag... Eating like I'm a supernatural for three days straight challenge. Hashtag eating like I'm a supernatural for three days straight challenge. It's a very long name. But I mean, it was fun. It was just a bunch of young food, except for maybe the egg omelets that weren't really young food. I mean, I don't know if pancakes are considered young food, but they kind of are, I suppose. I mean, I had pizza and burger. Who doesn't love pizza and burgers? It was tasty, it was delicious, it was a very fun experience in general, and I had a lot of fun, and I felt connected to these characters, you know, as I was eating burgers, I felt like I was Dean, as I was enjoying the omelets, I felt like Sammy, as I was eating a pie, my mind blew up, because the apricot scotch pie was so tasty, that my mind blew, and I understood, I understood the love that Dean Winchester gives to pies. You might also be wondering, why did I make Winchester Surprise? Well, here's the thing. Winchester Surprise is a special. I didn't make Winchester Surprise because I wanted to save Winchester Surprise for the finale, you know? And it's not like Sam and Dean eat Winchester Surprise every day. It's something that is a special and they make for special situations. And I thought the best place to make Winchester Surprise would be for the Supernatural season finale on the 19th of November, so you know next week. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I guess you can subscribe? I mean, maybe I upload another video in like another eight months or a year or something. Leave a quote, leave a comment, I don't know, have fun, do whatever you want. Either way, goodbye. As a bonus, I've never eaten a pecan pie in my life, so I guess I'm gonna try it on camera, see. It's like a cookie made out of nuts, so it's a nut cookie. A pecan cookie? It tastes like a pecan cookie. It's not my favorite. I've never been a fan of pecans. If you like Nazi, you would probably love it. Anyway, last episode of Supernatural broke me completely. I was dead. I don't know how I'm still alive. But yeah. That's something. <laughs>